Hello and welcome to the second tutorial in the AIML series. If you're looking for an introduction to what AIML is, then please check out the previous video, which will be linked in the description or can be found on the playlist. So let's jump right into it. Once you've set up your accounts with Pandora Bots and you have everything set up, you should be met with a screen that looks like this, or you, you'll have uh, deleted all the code and yeah so AIML is made up of tags and what a tag is is it's basically a data type uh, so it, it defines what a piece of data is so let's look at an example um, first we'll create a yeah, let's create a category tag. And as you can see here, this is already being generated for us, half of it anyway. So we have our opening tag and we have our close tag. So anything that we want to go within the tags goes in here. Um, and category tag doesn't actually do much in of itself. It basically groups your um, code together. So the really interesting parts will be within the tag pattern and template. So the pattern tag is going to contain the question we want to see. So AIML takes a question and an answer. That's what it's built upon and that's how a chatbot works. So the question that we want to ask our chatbot goes within these two tags, the pattern tag. So let's say we want to ask, uh, uh, what is your name? And as a general rule of thumb, uh, you always, want to put capital letters within your pattern tags and don't use any sort of punctuation. Um, it's it's going to ignore um, casing and punctuation anyway, so this is just a way to make it more easily readable when you have thousands of lines of code. So that's our question, and in the template tags we want to put our answer. So the answer will be, my name is Tutorial and we'll even put an exclamation mark because we're feeling very happy today. Then once you're done, hit Control S if you're on Windows, and if you're on Mac, it's probably something like Command S. And then go down to here, this little speech bubble, click on it, and type in what is your name. And I'll say my and just to prove a point. To show that it ignores punctuation and capital letters, there it is in a slightly different wording. So that's it, that's how you make a basic command. You can only, within the category tags I should mention, you can only have one pattern and one template. So once you're done with your first question and answer, you move on to the second one, you want to put that in a separate category tags. Okay, cool. So in the next tutorial, we'll be looking at some more interesting features that can be used to make your life as a developer a whole lot easier. And believe me that when I say there's a lot more to AIML than just pattern and template. And we'll be looking more at that in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.